Along with the soaring popularity of pickleball comes the biggest tournament ever in Texas. And we're going to talk with amateur pickleball player Tanner Groff, live from the Oasis Pickleball Club in Rockwall. He's going to be playing there in the Selkirk, Texas Open. That starts today. Good morning to you. Good morning. All right, so you are one of 1,500 athletes registered to compete in the tournament. So how did you get hooked on pickleball, especially to the point where you're competing as an amateur? I got hooked on pickleball about three years ago during COVID when there's nothing else open and one of my family members invited me to go play and after that I just started playing almost every day. All right, so uh, our good day anchors here, uh, we all tried to play pickleball a couple days ago uh, and uh, it was a sight. So any tips for players that are just getting started with the game? I mean, with the kitchen, I could not stay out of the kitchen. I always try to stay like two to three inches back from the kitchen, but my biggest tip is just remember you have more time than you think. The ball doesn't move that fast. Oh, that's true. It's more like a wiffle ball, so it doesn't go as fast as like a tennis ball. So you are one of the younger players. You're only 24. Um, it's your fourth pro uh, pickleball tour event. So what, you know, what kind of prompted you to compete, in, you know, as opposed to just playing it? I think competition's just been a part of my life for its entirety, so I decided to keep playing and found something that I could keep com competing in, and that's why I enjoy pickleball so much. It's because I can play with any level at any time and enjoy myself. Yeah, no, it is fun, that is for sure. Um, and, and unlike some other players that started with tennis, this is your first racquetball sport, so you didn't go from tennis to pickleball. So does that help? One of the things that um, my co-anchor Lauren was saying is that, uh, you know, when she started hitting the ball, oh my goodness, this doesn't feel like tennis. Is that a benefit that you didn't play tennis? I think it can be both a benefit and a hindrance because I didn't learn the footwork with tennis to move after a shot, where playing both football or baseball, I kind of stayed still as much as possible, where that's also hurt me in the long run. So what is the footwork, uh, I mean, what's involved with that? What, what's your strategy? Uh, my strategy is try to move to the ball and not get too close because I don't want the ball in my body like I did in football or baseball. Yeah. So try to keep it at arm's length to get it at the paddle. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so are you, how long do you continue playing amateur? Are you going to go pro or are you enjoying it too much at this level? I want to go pro when that time comes. I will try to make that leap, but until I win a couple amateur events at the 5-0 level, I don't think I'm going to be pushing my boundaries that far. Hey, was it when you started playing, also another question here from the non-player to the player, um, the scoring. How did you <laughs> learn the scoring? That, that's To me, that was the hardest part of the game. I'll be honest, I still don't know the scoring that well. <laughs> I get confused multiple times a game. <laughs> so do you, are there people there even at your level that help with that or yell out the, the score for you? I rely on my partner and I usually ask them in between points and hope if not the opponents know it. And if not, we're kind of all just stuck. You know what? Thank you. You, you just brightened my day there because I really thought I was kind of losing it with the with trying to get the score right. So knowing that it's a challenge even at that level, that's good to know. <laughs> we want to. I think it's a challenge at every level. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's it's complicated to say the least. All right, the Selkirk Texas Open. It starts today. It runs through Sunday at the Oasis Pickleball Club in Rockwall. That boasts 42 pickleball courts. If you want to join thousands of other spectators, tickets start at 25 bucks. You can find a link with more details on our website, fox4news.com. Hey, Tanner, thanks a lot this morning, and good luck. Thank you.